Planet Dolan. From shitting on a co-worker's computer to screwing the boss's wife, the Planet Dolan crew reenacts some of the best true stories from our subreddit about the craziest things our bosses ever asked us to do. My name is Nixium, and today I will be your narrator. Number 9 was submitted by Doe Dippity. One time Hellbent worked at an auto body shop. While he was working on a car, his boss went up to him, which didn't surprise Hellbent because he was known to be a lazy employee. Instead, his boss seemed nervous, saying very quietly, Will you fuck my wife while I watch? Hellbent politely declined, but watched as his boss went to one of the other guys. He heard one of his co-workers yell, Hell yeah, she's hot! Hellbent believes that everyone but him fucked the boss's wife, since his boss would go to an employee every once in a while to ask. Number 8 was submitted by Draw Kill Foxy Gamer 360 Dean was working the night shift at a business office when his boss went up to him. He asked him to shit on his co-worker's computer. When Dean asked why, his boss told him that he wanted him to quit and that he would pay him $700 if he did it. Since he needed the money, and despite the co-worker also being a friend, Dean did what his boss asked him to do and took a shit on the computer. The next morning, his co-worker saw the pile of shit on his computer and immediately quit. Number 7 was submitted by IDXK3. One time, Gurgat worked at an adult video store. His boss emailed him one day, asking him to go to his house and bring him some things. Gurgak thought his boss had been hurt because he told him to go grab some bandages, a bag of pills, and a grocery bag on his stove. Then he went to another address that his boss gave him, which was to another adult video store. When he got there, Gurgak was directed to the VIP room, which is where his boss was. He entered the VIP room and saw a hole on the wall. It turned out that his boss had stuck his dick into the hole but found out too late that it had been treated by a guy. When he found out, his boss had some kind of reflex getting himself stuck in the hole, so he told Gurgak to push it out from the other side. Not wanting to touch his boss's dick, he went to his boss's side and pulled instead. It eventually popped out, and while doing so, his boss hurt his dick and told Gurgak to bandage it, which he did. The pills in the bag were Viagra, and the other pills, well, they stopped erections. The grocery bag was full of magazines and some weed, and, well, let's just say this is a job that Gurgak leaves off of his resume. Number 6 was submitted by Fluffy Furry 97 Andy once worked in a restaurant with one of her friends, who worked as a waiter. One time, she dropped the food on the floor. When Andy went to clean it up, her friend ran away, and her boss came up and got angry. He blamed her for dropping the food and punished her by demanding that she eat the food from off the dirty floor. If she didn't, she would be fired. Since she was broke, Andy decided that it would be best to obey her boss. Her boss was surprised that Andy ate all the food that was dropped, and he gave her a hundred dollars. Number 5 was submitted by We Girls Game. When she was 16, Honeybits worked at Walmart. It went all right for the first couple of weeks until one day when her boss pulled her aside. Confused, she asked him why he wanted her. He told her to be quiet and to not ask any questions. That scared her. He brought her into his office and told her to sit down. Her boss proceeded to tell Honeybits that his girlfriend broke up with him and that he missed her every night. Shocked and thinking he wanted her to be his ex-girlfriend's replacement, Honeybits yelled and jumped out of the chair, but her boss grabbed her arm and pulled her back down. He continued to explain that he didn't want her that way, but instead told her to bring the female customers into his office so that he could have sex with them. Terrified, Honeybits nodded and, and then left. She then pulled out her phone and called the police. Number 4 was submitted by Squeak Attack. Back in high school, Sid worked at a taco stand in an amusement park. A week after he started working there, his boss threw a box of gloves on the counter in front of him. He told Sid to fill five with sour cream and five with ranch dressing. Thinking it was a joke, Sid ignored him, but then his boss came back about 10 minutes later and demanded to know where his gloves were. 
Nervous, he, he did what his boss told him to do. He tied the bottoms of the gloves shut before putting them in the refrigerator. It turned out that his boss only wanted the gloves filled so that he could squeeze the contents of each of them into the condiments bottles. Although Sid thought it was a smart idea in hindsight, he still wonders why his boss didn't just tell him in the first place. Number three was submitted by Preston the Werewolf, 14. One of the craziest things Derek's boss asked him to do was to go to the diner next door and tell the waitress to put her hand in his pants. His boss offered him $100 to do it, so Derek went to the diner and told the waitress the situation. Strangely, it turned out that the waitress was his boss's daughter. She put her hands in his pants in a heartbeat, and Derek, well, he received his $100. Number two was submitted by For Corey. M. Kyle M. worked for a boring insurance company when his boss came up to him one day. He told M. Kyle M. something surprisingly interesting. It was something that probably wasn't too interesting to the average person, but in a boring insurance office, it was kind of cool. His boss told him he just wanted him to sing country music to his plants and fish so they would grow better and stay healthy. And you know what? M. Kyle M. got some good bonuses for it. And number one was submitted by me. Luckily, I've never had a boss ask me to do anything too crazy, aside from one time. I remember Black Friday was coming up, and my boss at the store I worked at walked up to me and asked me if I was interested in some extra hours. I told him, sure, why not? But then he said he wanted me to work for 20 hours straight on the day before Black Friday, and then into the day itself. And then, after the 20-hour shift was over, I would have four and a half hours before I would have to come back and work a 16-hour shift. I just laughed and said, Oh, Andy, you're such a joker. But he was not joking. I said no. All right. So a huge thanks to the folks over at our Planet Dolan subreddit for submitting their stories. But we have another question for you. What's a weird thing that made you quit a job? Let us know in the Reddit page linked below, and you might be featured in a future countdown. Planet Dolan is now a video game. Play as Dolan, Melissa, and the rest of the PD crew collecting shinies to unlock skins and power-ups. Download from the Android or iOS app store and start racing today for free. Until next time. See ya!